wake does up kill and stress. Still there. Do you wake up and the stress is still there for you? <laughs> I'm not waiting for you. I'm like, hey, I'm still here. <laughs> what do you do to relieve your stress, Ish? <laughs> <laughs> He's starting early. Too early. <laughs> he ain't say shit for two hours. We stay here, right? The whole you time. We was chilling. I thought, that, I thought that was going to be his vibe. I, I ain't even going to lie. He come alive. I said, like, we got a quiet today. All right. Yo, he out of fucking fire here, yo. Okay. No, you know something? I realized that my peak masturbation time okay. is like... 2 30 in the afternoon. Like, I like to have, like, I like to masturbate middle of the day. Yeah. People say that's weird. That is weird. How, but I feel like for men, y'all might have to do it early in the morning. Yes. But I, like, I'm, I have to get up and do, like, walk my dog, make breakfast, do, like, I have to have a real life. Yeah. So not that I like, get a log on to work, you know, I gotta you just walk wake up earlier. It would have been traffic going down the steps to get to work. So I have yeah. to like, set myself up. And yeah. then it's like around, like, lunchtime, like 12 30, 1 o'clock, I just get super horny. And you know, I turn myself on. Sometimes I, I'll go in my room sometimes, and I go in a closet, and I'll be like, I'm just going to try to find something to wear. And when I get naked, I'll be like, turn on. I'm like, yeah, I'll be weird with it. No, I, I don't sit in the closet. I do sit in the closet. I'm lying. I'll sit in the closet sometimes. Just sit in there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. in the room. And I sit no, in that's, yeah. yeah. I just go in there and close the door, like, trapped in the closet? No. You know, it's like a, <laughs> like a, like a, little, like a little sofa chair in there. And yeah. I'll sit in there and stuff. I'll sit on the floor and just, you know, think about some stuff. But then I'll get horny. So like two thirty, I always want to masturbate. A little lunchtime masturbation. Yeah. Right around that. It's not too heavy, not too light. You know, not it's not like 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 breakfast, but not too heavy like dinner. It's a like li- lunch. You like, don't have the stress of trying to get get it off before you go to work, and you don't have the stress of I'm like rushing. doing it before you go to bed. It's right. Night, I'm not tired. right in the middle of the day. It's perfect. It's a stress reliever. It is. It's pretty good. It's like a cup of coffee. Yeah, and then you know what? And I feel like my day is it's like a yawn. Like I'm mean, like. Yeah, let's get My back to this. My day's good now. Yeah, yeah I, I enjoy it. I mean, midday masturbation probably should be number one on stress relievers. Like, you shouldn't have to take any, like, like no therapists, no pills, just yeah. masturbate. Just masturbate. Masturbation probably good for your health. I'm sure it is. I'm, you live a lot longer. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to live forever if masturbation is medicine. Uh, so you've been going hard lately, Lionel. A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I don't think that when I have somebody, I masturbate less. But like, I'm, if I'm having sex with somebody, I want to masturbate more. Really? Yes. I think that I, I think I'm almost on the borderline of a nympho. Like once I start having sex, I like I need to have sex all the time. So like if it's a time we have sex and he like leave or whatever, and I'm still thinking about it, I get that yeah. chill. Like oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna go masturbate. Have you ever had somebody that didn't match your sex drive? Oh yes. Yeah, that's weird. But, like, it's weird because I feel like every man should have a high sex drive. A lot of men don't. <laughs> Why? I don't know what's wrong with them. I think it's going to be sad. I don't, have a, I don't have a high sex drive. You definitely do. Why you just lie like that? Like, no. What's wrong with you? <laughs> not right now. You just lie. You no, know? not right. In this, at, the, at the moment? All right, look. At this chapter of my life, it's, it's chilling. You know, listen. It's chilling. But you know something? I feel like I used to think the younger guys had a high sex drive. But I think now I realize older guys do. I think an older guy recently. Yeah. And then yes, and this is killing ourselves, right? It's killing themselves. But yes, I feel like older guys be like maybe freaks. Older guys be freaks. Silver fox. But I also silver fox for sure. But I also feel like, but I told you prior, I feel like older men dicks always wet. Hey, what you mean like, by wet? I feel like they're always pre coming. Like any little thing that happens, like they be like, uh, they came. Like you're like, what the fuck? Like so, I have to be like, real like, you gotta but be I mean, a sturdy old head for me to fuck with you. Yeah, but like, I mean, here's the thing. At least you know it's working, right? It's working, but like, calm down. Yeah, it's almost like you gotta, it's you know how they say you when your grandparents get old, they like can't hold that bladder. Yeah, I thought like that's, that's a symptom of being old. You can't hold your cum. Like you got a pre cum. <laughs> like why are you pre cumming right yeah. now? We ain't been doing that yet. They're excited. They're that's happy to be excited. here. Yeah, that's a little too excited. Yes, that they, wouldn't turn you on knowing that he like fuck with you. It makes me feel I'm in control. I make, maybe if I got you by the balls, like oh you hype over this. Yeah. So would you hold it over his head? Oh for sure. Like, nigga, where my be? Buy me a car. You gotta take treat him like that. Cause they will new fight whatever. If you like some younger pussy for an older man, he like yeah I'm here for it like. I need it. Yeah. But, of course, guys, welcome to Eat Your Heart Out. I am your host, Ish. It's a new episode today. I don't know what I know I was looking for, but he look, I'm is sorry. I was looking. I was. I'm me. sorry. I was looking for my he drink. Was, that was a little Kim dance. She was like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. Drunk. I was looking for my drink around my chair, yo. My bad. 
Well, welcome to another episode. You should heart out. Happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you guys got everything you needed. Yeah. Um, I heard some of the dads was like taking care of the babies and stuff. I'm like, okay. Stepping up. Needed a break. My uh, my ex, his new baby mom was like, go get your son. Your baby mom, I need a break. And he was like, no, she like being with our son. It's just you don't like being with your kid. Like, no. Yo. Like, he told him that, though. Like, it's like, I don't want a break. <laughs> so, like, all moms don't need breaks. Sometimes we just want, like, you know, a nice card. I told my kid to write a nice card. Yeah. Like, write, write me something nice. But, yeah. you know, kids these days, they, they social media. I want him to get a pen and piece of paper and write he me a nice He didn't send you note. a meme? A he Mother's wrote, Day meme? No, he went on Instagram and posted a picture of me. You know a picture he posted of me? It wasn't a good one. My middle finger up like this. Yes. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. But why do that to me? I want to be a good mom. It's Mother's Day. I think I would do it. That I think that just shows that you don't give a fuck. That was You're a don't give a fuck mom. I liked it, right? Is, no? Fuck off. People mom probably people people I was like, look at that mom. Oh, look at this kid mom. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy no. Like this real work. Like, I did real work. Making me do fucking I work. <laughs> Like, look at this kid, mom. What like a middle finger up and shit. Like, so I gotta stop doing that. Like, no, I have to stop doing that shit. I gotta do better. Cause I, it's okay. He, it's okay. He, he took it. We was in the airport one day and I was like ready to go home when I did like this. And he took yeah. It. But my lashes looked cute because I was like this. So I was like, thank you. So it's a cute. Is it a good picture though? Is it? No, it's my middle fingers up. He's drawing and then he writes up, he write a nice paragraph on Instagram. Yeah. I want him to have a piece of paper and I can't screenshot to keep my phone forever. I want to write it down so I can have it, you know, written down. Right. Guys, it's so much going on I'm so, I, in look, the studio right now. It's not me. I'm, I'm and, and he's like, drop it. It's all good, though. I'm sorry. I, I love him all the same. I'm sorry. Affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> Get friends that know where their drinks are and they know how to keep, keep their phone on the table and don't let it fall. <laughs> 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 no, what's the affirmation? <laughs> a- affirmation. Be a good baby father to your baby moms. Mm. I hate when like co-parenting is so important right now. I feel like for people and like when you have a kid, be a good like if you don't be with that I person got a couple. forever. Anyway, nigga, all right, I'm you sorry. want to still be nice to them. I yeah. don't mean it to be there. Like why you be mean to your baby mom? Shut your child. Be nice. Like, yeah, you know? like, yeah, I agree with that. Like we I, all gotta live on this earth, nigga. Like why are you acting like that? I yeah. Mean, yeah, but don't yeah. make it crazier for him. And I'm a great co-parenter. I told you, I still take trips with him. We still go away together. We yeah. still do all the good stuff. And he can bring his girlfriend if he wants to. I don't care. Like, yeah. But for the kids, say he would be nice to be moms. Like, have some good times with her. Like, so, yeah. I don't know. That's that's my thing. But, and you know what? I've been being on, like, real demon time when it comes to, like, I'm a basketball mom. So, yeah. I've been going to all the games drawing. Little teeny skirts. Oh. Crop tops. I'm going to get me a basketball dad. They yeah. be there tall and strong. If you, you like it up, when they get a little aggressive over the games? Oh, yeah, bit. like passionate? Yeah. Yeah, it's be cussing the kids out. Right. Yeah, and calling them trash. I love that. Yeah. That, that's like a good look. So, yeah, because then you, you kind of look at him and be like, damn, that's how he'll be with me. Like, you think so? I would hope so. Right. I would never want a guy to be. I don't like I don't like men being soft with me. No. No, I don't want guys like, being yeah, like. Rough. Yeah, I want them to be all like, how was your day rubbing my back? I'm just gonna put the hair on my back and my neck and be like, you had a good day, like squeezing it hard. Yeah. I don't want the shoulder up. I want the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Not you start feeling it mid pod. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. <laughs> Yo. She started feeling it. She said, ooh, let me go to my closet real quick. Let me go get, text somebody. <laughs> she said, let me go to my walk-in closet real oh quick. God, shut up, y'all. I got some things to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2 o'clock yet. <laughs> I got a large set. Masturbation time. Right. Like, oh, one of my soldiers had DM me, and it was like, one, they said, put the YouTube videos up, Lur. But, you know. <laughs> two, they said. Man, oh, oh, <laughs> two, they always come at him every week. They always say, like, they're like, tell Lur, post YouTube videos. And two, she just about an update with Virgin Bay. So the man, remember Virgin Bay, y'all, the doctor boy. Remember that was literally yes. like the last episode. I feel yeah. like I was. I feel like I've been off him for like a few weeks now. But really? I guess is yeah. it because he's a virgin? I think he want to get married. Yeah. I think he's saving himself for marriage. Yeah. Was he one got, of them soft niggas you was talking about? He's a very nice guy. Oh. You, ever, you ever describe somebody you didn't like? You they be like, how how, how they look? You be like, they're very nice. Yeah. Yeah. How your description of you? Yeah. Can't be like they cute and nothing. They nice. They nice. She's, she's a, a nice sweet person. girl. Yeah. <laughs> she's a sweet girl. What she look like? Ah, you know, she's a she's sweet. 
<laughs> he's a really nice guy, y'all. Like, no, for yeah. real. He and he got his shit together. That's what girls say. When he ain't cute, you say, he got his shit together. So he, Virgin Bay, I cannot, I couldn't deal with him too much longer because he wanted to, like, meet the parents and, like, pay vacations and do all this without giving up dick. That was wild to me. Yeah. What were we looking at two rooms on vacation? Right. So oh, I was going to read your Bible. Yeah, I'm like, we were Bible study on vacation? It's just, it wasn't going to work out for me because it's like, what do you do when you got a virgin boyfriend? You go on a, and you not a virgin? Yeah. It, do virgin men get hard? Like, I'm just confused. Like, do you get blue balls? Like, I, I'm just, I'm just like, what, what happens with that? Because he was very content with just being like, I feel like those be the niggas that jerk off the the, the, the most, most, right? Yeah, they be the ones that be searching all the wild shit. He told me he don't do that. You think he lying? Yes. I think he's lying too. Because how he relieve all of that stress? The cum buildup is crazy. Yeah. He's full of cum. He came to the um, brunch. Oh, came. All right. That kind of scared guy. me. All right. Was he there? Yeah, he came to the brunch. For, Why for you ain't pointing him out? He came for a minute. He came before I got there. He had left before I got there. Why? I don't know. We've been weird. You would you want would you want somebody to support you in your um future like events cuz you will be you going to be doing a lot in the future. Do you want your you know your boyfriend or your person to be at all of them Jones? No, and this guy that I like date a little bit right now, he be asking it like I'm going to come I'm going to come and support you. I'm going to come here. I'm coming here. I'm like, "No." I'm like, yeah. "I don't want it's not a mullet. I don't want to mix business with pleasure." Yeah. I, I want you to stay over there. I don't mullet want you is to crazy. Be, you know, like, I don't want that. I don't. A mullet? Yes. Yeah. You know, a mullet like is the right. hairstyle. Yeah. Yeah. I was just <laughs> saying, I don't, it's not that. I don't yeah. want to mix business with pleasure. I want you to, like, stay <laughs> over there. I think I'd be cute. I can rock it. That's where it yeah. come over here. Like, It'd be like this and then a short long in, in the, the front back. and shave and the long in the back. You're going to look like a dirt bag. <laughs> Put a flannel on, cut the arms off. Yeah, yeah. You sit here like, listen, guys. Drinking a can of beer. Yeah, it's going to crash it. Crush it when you die. Yeah, <laughs> on your head. <laughs> on my head. <laughs> Have a scar. Shut up, Lionel. All right, but no, I, I, don't, I don't think I want my guy to support me. Like, support me behind the door. Like, don't, like, come out and be a seen. <laughs> Like, don't be around. All right. All right. What if he was a basketball player and he was like, don't support me? <laughs> I'm fine with it. When I'm at in life, I'm fine with it. If All I know right. behind like closed doors, we together and we good, I'm yeah. fine with it. Because I feel like the moment somebody know you mess with somebody, everybody else want them. They go crazy. They go crazy. Yeah. You know, like, I don't want that. I don't want that. What are we trying to say shit about you? I like that, though. I like that topic of like people like... They'll leave you alone when nobody fucking with you, but the minute they find out, yes, you got all of this going on. They Here right they back on your dick. Yeah, Here they come. Talk about I'm proud of you. Don't be proud of me. <laughs> Don't be proud of me. Get the fuck out of here. For real. Don't Yo, be we want to say. See, the problem is everybody's so nervous to say what they really feel. I feel like if me and you were broke up, and then I did some amazing shit afterwards, and you know who I'm talking to, say no. And hey, don't call me and be like, "Yo, I'm so proud of you. I knew it was gonna be great." No, no. fuck, you didn't. No, yeah. you didn't. You on my dick. You be saying that? Don't. I feel like you trying to. You on my dick. Don't do that. Like, don't say that. Cause you wasn't. I don't. If we was the when we was together, you wasn't proud of nothing I was doing. You hated that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. then we ain't together no more. All of a sudden, you proud? Yeah. Now you proud. Now you proud. You didn't know like that, that I was shit. really like this. You didn't know this star I was, was going to shine, huh? Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. So, I don't know, but I don't know. Persian <sighs> Bay. <laughs> So listen, y'all. <laughs> what he was doing? Shit, I was saying, yeah, I look fucking stupid. He was acting crazy. <laughs> look at this. You was acting crazy. Wait, we in the, the middle, middle of the drum, bro. I know he here. What the fuck, bro? We at work. Hell not, not act at work. Hell not act at work. Why you showing her and like she could hear? Why you there like this? Like this? You slumped in the couch. Like this? He said, "Fuck it." Fuck it. What's wrong? What you saying? Now you wanna know. Yeah, now we wanna yeah, know. Yeah, we wanna know. Come on, tell me what you saying. You wanna be playing? Yes, yeah, play, no, play, 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 play it. Say it. Play it. Play it. Play it. I love you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna buy you all that money. <laughs> I'm gonna buy you money is crazy. My thing is like apologizing, right? The things that I'm clearly not apologetic for. I'm saying all this shit like the pussy was amazing. So I'm like, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna be more consistent. I'm gonna take you out more. 
Yo! Whoa! He lost all his bitches. Literally. In a the clip. They're going. That's it. Poof. That's it. That's Poof, that. brother. You better go in there and start blocking people. That's <laughs> now you gotta <laughs> accept it too. <laughs> you gotta accept it. <laughs> don't accept the collab. Don't accept the collab, brother. Don't accept the collab. You gotta return the favor. They don't see it. <laughs> you gotta return the favor. Don't accept the collab. Hey, man. You know, that's what, I hate apologizing too. I don't like apologizing, Larry. I hate apologizing. What do you mean? Like, I, hey, I, please tell us. I, I, do, I do not. If I do something wrong, I don't like apologizing. I feel like, why are you mad? I feel like you be a soft nigga. You ask me to apologize to you. Capricorns. Why I got to apologize to you? That's a Capricorn That's, thing. You want me to apologize to you like, like a girl to apologize to you? Yeah. No. I want you to do more than just words. I'll do more than words. I'll get your chewy. I'll do all the good things. I'm going to get that good. <laughs> You know, I'll do all the above, but I ain't about to be like, I'm sorry. Like, no, that's a waste of my hair. You apologize. Like, I'm sorry. What if, you, what if you do all of the extras, the chewy, all of that shit, suck his dick all crazy, and then afterwards he like, I'm still waiting for that apology. Then get my chewy, but return my chewy. <laughs> Say that shit prior. <laughs> then we before before I fucking do it. Then let me know where you are gonna be at before I do that shit. No. I'm not doing both. I feel like I feel like if you suck somebody's dick for an apology, that weighs more than the words. Yeah, I give actions. you mouth. <laughs> Fuck my words. No, 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 no. Actions speak louder than words. Yes, and that's a that's a huge action. That's for real. That's a huge action. I'm not about to be doing both. Yeah. Then you then you tried it. You asked for too much. <laughs> no, I ain't doing that if shit. You asked for an apology after she sucked your dick. I did it already. That's my apology. No, it's not. It's not. It's not you it. Want wor- both? We want words. Yes. You gotta say it. I if don't even know what you. Sex was good. My mouth should be full. I have no time to say sorry at this point. No, uh, I'm. You got it already. Yeah, you won. <laughs> niggas want. That's the problem with relationships nowadays. Niggas want it all. Like niggas really are bad bitches. They want you to apologize, buy them gifts. A woman will suck your dick before she say sorry. I, of course, crazy. I just said I would do that. Yeah. I said I'll suck a dick before I say sorry. Yeah. That's, That's my sorry. Yeah. I'm not doing that. You, you, I'm not, listen, I'm not doing that. Cause yeah. you know what? If a, if it was vice versa, a man ate my pussy for apology, that don't matter. Cause men, men don't know how to eat coochie till you come. They get nah. lazy and tired. So cause I didn't come, it don't count. But I still get to make you come. My apology is heavy. And, that, and that's a, that's three apologies. Yeah, so oh, that's three. Two, I got fuck up two more times. Yeah, and you, I oh, you good? Oh, you good for two more I times? I already secured that. Bought you two more, huh? Yeah, that's buy one get three free. <laughs> <laughs> I did you good. Leave me alone. Yeah, but. I think if I if I like if I fall asleep like after I came and all of that, you off the ropes. And if I made you a sandwich or something, because I can't, on. yeah, because I can't wake up and be like, "Where my apology at?" Like you done did put me to sleep. I was your hot towel or something. That. I did all the above. Yeah. But if I really fuck up though, what I do is I'll take my man to one of those um, massage places where you get your happy ending. What yeah, you gonna say now? You yeah. not mad at me no more. Yeah, did I'll take that. care of you. I just I'll yeah. take care of you. Let, come on. Yeah, you let them. I'm yeah. a team player. You are. I'm here for you. You are. I said sorry my own way. You should be happy, right? I think I think if if a shorty owed me a little apology and I ended up going to a little happy ending massage, John, yes. and I got back in the car, she was there. I'd be like. Apology accepted. <laughs> like, without even, Period. you know what I mean? Like, you got it. You, you're right. Enough else to talk about. Yeah, no, I um, I like that. And, I mean, but, you know, what I hate doing is I hate giving hair to guys that's hairy. <laughs> I don't like giving hairy, like, dick sucks. That should be a weird. It'd be, it'd be weird. Really? No, really. Like I feel like one, one time this guy got so mad at me because he was, like, super hairy. And I still sucked it, of course, because I'm a big girl. But when, like... A pube get in your throat? Yeah. It's no stopping it. Yo, I was drooling. I was like, you know, I started crying. <laughs> you like, started like, coughing? Thing. I was coughing, gagging, Choking. trying to get it out. I can't my finger like this, trying to get it out. And it was so bad, he would just turn off. I was going to throw it out. Yeah. I was just drooling. Because what am I going to do? It's annoying. Fight it's, through you can't it. ignore it. No. Some of them be, that's why you should not be hairy. That's not fair. That is very fair. Because when, when y'all be leaving the little uh, tissue balls on the on the coochie Just lips and all of off. that, uh-uh. Just I got to I gotta sit through it. I got to pick it out my teeth and all of that. What do I do? I just get the... I still get the... You mean? I'm still eating the if pussy. If a man eats pussy with hair, with tissue balls on it, I mean, he didn't eat pussy right. Because I feel like a man's supposed to, when he <laughs> first... <laughs> no. When you first... You didn't do it right. You didn't start off right. We went to eat a pussy. You were to take your hands and... You're supposed to take your hands and spread it open 
Look at it, <laughs> rub it first before you fucking put your fu- your face on it. This way, you're gonna clear all the tissue balls off while uh, you're looking at it. Sometimes it I want be you in to the admire bed. my. I want you to admire my pussy. Don't just go there and put your head down there. That means you scared. No. Be a man about it. <laughs> Look at it, admire it, rub it, clean it off, or we polish it. What if it's a yeah? We in the dark room. Why? Who fucking in the dark? What you what you hiding? <laughs> I'm I my, he said my titties that's a fact <laughs> women love nigga titties now what right before about? i take my right before i take my shirt off i'll be like you want the light on since you want to take it off we can turn it off it's a little bright in here i ain't gonna lie. it's killing the mood yeah, it's, it's up to you it's up to you it's up to you i mean look i ain't <laughs> That's my line line when I do something I want them to do. It's up to you. Whatever yeah, you want that's how you get them to do it. Up to you. Yeah. But Lionel, like, fuck it in the car. We talked about this prior, me and yeah. you, all of us, right? Yeah. And you would say how you like fuck it in the car. And Hate I'm it. like, no, I like fuck it in the car. Until I met a big nigga. Yeah. And I understood it. Come on. I had to do the squat over him on the side and it Come wouldn't on. work. And it didn't I work. I put my leg on the console and on the window. All over the that's place. That's ridiculous. From the window to the wall. I said, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From the window to him. the glove box. No, I hate him. Yeah. So stupid. Right? It don't work. I get it now. I get it. It don't work. I said, get off of me. In the car, I was talking to a <laughs> shirt. I said, get now. off of me. I said, get off of me. Let's go. Let's go back to the crib. <laughs> no. Come on. So I'm telling you. I had a weird experience this week. Now tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think, and I'll be snapping, right? Mm-hmm. I met this guy. We would go out like every day, we have fun together, right? We would mm-hmm. like get into it, like almost the sex. I like, get into it, but we in a car, it's not space in the car. So he kept saying like, you know, he wanted to fuck me, right? He, he ain't say it, but he was like seeing it. So he said something to me, and I was like, you gotta figure it out, cause I'm not fucking you in the car. I just don't want to fuck in the car. I'm me. I don't want to fuck in the car. Like, yeah. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna figure it out. Next day, like, let's go watch the game. All right, cool. We meet up, we link up. We leave. No, no, I'm lying. We at the game. He keeps saying, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, where we going? The game not over yet. He's like, just come on, let's go. I'm like, where we going? He's like, come on. We get in the crack. Follow me. I'm like, all right, cool. Yo, it was a Wednesday night last week. The game was on Wednesday night. Yeah. We drive and we pull up. You know where he went? To a fucking hotel. Yeah. And he went to the hotel confidently. Like, he didn't ask me anything. He pulled to the front. You know how you... You know how you pull to the front? We had a check in. You know how you pull to the front little way? Right. You hop out. He hopped out walking to the hotel. So I'm looking. I call, I call his phone, like, yo, you about to check into the hotel? Yeah, what's up with you? He got quiet. He said, here I come. He got to the car, like, what's wrong? I'm like, was you going to invite me? Was you oh. going to tell me to come to the hotel? Yeah. He said, you said, figure it out. Nigga, I said, figure it out. And then let me know, like, because now my question is, did you got a wife at home? Who at your house? Like, yeah. why didn't you invite to your house? One. Two, what would you like to was I coming to a hotel with you on a Wednesday night? So was you going was it is it an hourly rate hotel? Are you about to fuck me and then leave me in two hours? <laughs> it was one o'clock and it was like midnight. Like so we went to go here to, to fuck. We both gotta work in the morning. Yeah. I guess I can't get no breakfast. I was going in. I was just going, like asking all these questions. I can't get no breakfast. You went to fuck and you went to like I'm good. What was your plan? You were surprised me at a hotel on a Wednesday night that was about to say, like, Oh, okay. Walk in the hotel. Like I was confused. Am I crazy? E, no, a little bit. No. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. No, you're not. No, no, no. You're not crazy. I think he definitely should have told you because that's a little weird. Like, yes. you tell her, like, look, you can even make it sexy. He was trying to be sneaky sexy and it wasn't working. He was working. trying to be sneaky. Listen, I said, this is how you know you was wrong because you never even sat in the bar like, yo, we're gonna go to, I'm going to go to a hotel. You want to go to a hotel? Yeah. Like, anything. It wasn't yeah. on the, And you could tell he. that's all he was thinking about because when he came in, his vibe was off. Before he come in, we had fun. We chilling. But he was sitting there like ready to go. He walked in the door kind of like really? waiting like, are you, got, you got two drinks in you? Like, let's go. Like, you're kind of like, yeah. where we going? That's weird. This is why I don't last with dating men. Because it's like, why do that? And then, you know, as a woman, I want to be ready for a hotel. We don't want to bring a bag. We don't want to bring some extra panties. Yeah. You know like, how you, how you know I didn't want to get prepared for this? Well, how you know I, I, how you know I, I want to get a fresh wax He definitely got a wife. It's, no, I need a scarf. These curls don't look like this all day long. Like, I was no. confused. Fuck no. you. No. <laughs> this don't come off. This is attached. Okay. So it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I feel like he had that shit planned out all day long. He was. He and he was, never mentioned it. He was nervous about it too, probably. Cause like, look Absolutely. at how he was acting at the bar. Like, he had his hands in his pocket the whole time. That's nervous actions to me. You yeah. don't think so? Yeah. When I'm nervous, I do shit like probably like curl my like twist my hair, shake my leg, and all that. Yeah, everybody got. But their when thing. niggas do stuff like niggas, have hands in their pockets. 
Oh yeah. And they like and that hoodie and they like this. He was like this the whole time. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You gotta learn you how to nothing. read body language when people start acting all weird and shit. Oh, you, you got a hotel? Like, you got a hotel. <laughs> That's the first thing you say to a nigga now. The minute he start acting weird, you gotta be like, you gotta tell me somewhere. What the fuck? At least it wasn't a motel. It was a it was an okay hotel. That didn't matter at the time. I didn't know where I was going. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, so I when I, when I pulled up, I immediately text my girls like, yo, my location on. They already yeah. know what that means. Like, what the fuck? <clears throat> Weird shit. And I was like, I'm out. And I, he was like, he did. He said, you about to cut me off. And I laughed like I said, <laughs> why would you ask me that? Yeah, because that shouldn't be a question. Why he knows you, who surprises somebody with a hotel midweek. That was did he weird. just go in there and be his dick? I was wondering if he stayed there. <laughs> I would definitely. I like, go over the room. I didn't. Yeah. If I paid for it and you ain't coming, I'm, I'm gonna be my dick around the entire. But you deserve to do that alone, cause I would at least invite me. Cause sensual sex is everything. Absolutely. Yes. At least he, he didn't invite me. you into. The- he didn't invite me. He just knew yeah. I was going to come. He just if said, If I was on. him, after you pulled off, I would have went right to a, a Wawa, mm-hmm. got some ice cream, <laughs> brought it back to the hotel, watched a little movie, ate a couple of scoops of the ice cream, put the ice cream in the little fridge that they got there, and then just beat the skin off my meat. <laughs> 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 beat that shit till I, till no. I can't no more. Went back in the freezer, grabbed the ice cream, finished my movie. No. And then checked out. I think, I just think as, you know, we are... I'm a single woman. I like to date right now. Yeah. Right? I feel like there's so many things that people just don't get about dating. Like, one, you got to let people know what's the plan. Like, let, let me know the plan. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, honestly, if I wanted to have sex, and he was like, you want to go to a hotel tonight? Or I got a kid at home, and I don't bring him to my house, or I live far. It could have been anything. First of all, let me know why we're not going to your house. Because you probably feel like, you got a house too. Why are you going to your house? I could be like, oh, because I have a kid at home. And we could have kind of, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But for you just it. to kind of be like, I'm not explaining myself to you. We're going to a hotel. So now I'm thinking you That's can get a wife. That's crazy. Or yeah. Something else. Like, yeah. But yeah, they're going to date these days is hard because shit like that. Bro like, took, um, <laughs> he took what you would call it really serious. You know, I would sure be like, surprise me. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, yes. you know, some sure be like, they'd be like, nah, what you want to do? Nah, surprise me. And then next thing you know, you pulling up to a hotel. Like, yes. nigga, no, not this surprise. What but the, the problem, the problem, the main problem was he pulled up to the front lane to walk in and check in without me. He told me to follow him. So he was confident. <laughs> he, knew, he knew. He knew. He knew you pussy. was behind him. He yeah, knew Dropbox Tuesday was coming to an end. He yeah, knew it. I yeah. was like, I had, to, I had to make the phone call like. And I, here I go, you checking into a hotel? You know how you ask the obvious question? Yeah. Like, I had to ask the yeah. obvious question. Like, yes. you gotta know you fucking wild right now, but whatever. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's weird. So I'm not crazy. No, you're not crazy. Yeah. Did you tell him not to do that again? Or you didn't even give a fuck? I, no, to... I'm done. There's nothing to say. He called he he called me. I think I saw him the next day because I cause we do business together. I hate that. I hate that. I hate me trying yeah. to date somebody you do business with. But I was, I went in on some confidence shit. Sat there, my legs crossed like this. Yeah. Or whatever, and then left. Right. I like, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> and send him money. See you. Yeah. Like no. God like bless. yeah. Like you need Jesus. Me. Yes. No, that'd be crazy. Extended stay is wild. No, it was like a hill, and it was nice. Extended stay is pretty good. Yeah, but this is like a hill. It was like a nice one. A on the one. water and all that. It was like, are right, oh. you were trying to be fancy, but you fell. All right, wait a minute. No, I don't care. Hold on now. I don't care. Nigga I dropped a little penny, huh? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Let me know. I don't give a fuck. It was Marriott. They don't care. Let me know. Nigga dropped 250 to be his <laughs> meat. <laughs> that was a fancy beat. That was an beat. expensive beat. That was an expensive beat. expensive one. I would hit up every chick I ever could think of. Just to do it. Just to come to the hotel. As he should have. I would have got a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> forty dollars a uh, something's happening tonight. Yeah, 40 to 50, like something's 40. happening tonight. But that was on him. Yeah, that was on no, him. for sure. He's absolutely. And wrong. I liked him. Like I, he didn't do anything wrong up until then. And my yeah. girlfriend was like, "Give him another chance." He probably just read it wrong. And I'm like, "That's hard to give another chance after some shit like that." Yeah, because like, now I feel next? like you look at me a certain way. Yes, yeah. like hooker time. Right. Which is okay, but like whatever. No, okay. Only when it's role play. <laughs> uh, on the pillow when y'all got done. I'd have been pissed. You hear me? Nah, yeah, beat, beat that I would have recorded it and, and posted my page. Like, yeah. Y'all, let me tell you about this nigga yeah. right here. This bitch ass nigga. He wouldn't yeah, be like that. I had to become a mark. I had to talk yeah, like a like copy. Mark ass <laughs> nigga. Yeah, cash. Yeah. For real, no, for real. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We ran through it fast? Oh, all right. We just never do it. Okay. Hey, Solis. Okay. Oh, all right. But should I announce other stuff now too? Not yet, right? Well, 
Yeah, not yet, right? No, not yet. I'm waiting to everything. It's like next week at least, right? Okay. Sure. All right. I'm ready. Hey, Solis. Uh, hey, Solis. Sorry, I thought he was hitting the button or something. Hey, Solis. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out AdamandEve.com. Make sure you get getting some toys. We use our code EYHO. You get 50% off your first order, 10% off everything else, free shipping. Um, get some, it's summertime. Get some toys. Have some fun with your boyfriends, your girlfriends. Make sure you guys are enjoying your time, your sexual time. And then make sure you're using condoms or not. <laughs> yeah. What you to do? Let's have some fun. Absolutely. What else you doing? Um, oh, the brunch. The brunch was super nice. We was, I talked about the brunch last week, right? Yeah, the brunch was super bit, nice. Yeah. I put the pictures yeah. out. Pictures were crazy. Yes. The pictures were so insane. Really like, good. It, it just showed like the whole vibe of everything. Everybody was thinking, job. wow. Yeah. Yes. You did your big one with the music. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yep. Dr. Swag. Yo, Kylie, everything. Yeah. That's his Instagram, Dr. Swag. Yeah, Two Gs. It, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kylie, everything. It was like a good yeah. time. And then um, I feel like everybody there had a good time. Everybody was like, Lord posted a video earlier about him giving out like drinks and shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody was like, yo, I was so drunk. Yeah. Like, Lord know how to get everybody drunk. That shit was crazy. No, I had a lot of fun, though. The brunch was so nice. We have more things coming soon, guys. I have an announcement probably next week. I'll talk about it next week. Once everything is confirmed, we'll talk about it. Because I need my soul to know first before anyone else knows. Absolutely. So, um, to everyone who listens to that whole so podcast. So. Yep. Um, a weird story. <clears throat> Random weird story, right? Yeah. Anything else? Nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Random as weird has nothing to do with nothing, y'all. So you know I have a dog named Rocky, right? Shut so up, Rocky. I walk to meet my dog. I walk to meet my kid at a store the other day. So we in a parking lot with the dog. So it's a lady in a car with her dog. It's just a little dog, like a little puppy, like a little like furry dog, right? Yeah. She's like a hand dog. So the other day a hand dog. But anyway, so the dog, the dog sees my dog. We like in the back of the parking lot and the dogs are like whining like he wouldn't she wouldn't come to my dog. So whine. like it was like mm. <laughs> okay. So my dog, that was Rocky doing it. No, her dog. Her dog, dog did that. Okay. So, but Rocky started whining too. You know, dogs be horny, whatever. They right? do. So he was whining too. So, but lady, she paying no mind. Her husband get in the car. Little dog in the back seat in the window. So she goes. She backs up. She goes to pull off. The dog runs to the side of the window. So we just looking. The fucking dog hops out the window. One is rolls dead. down the door, hits the ground on her back, <clears throat> hops up and starts running towards us. Yeah. My dog is big as shit. Like I got a pit. So Rocky like so Rocky just like he just yeah. like looking though, but she come all the way over until she get close, she realized like this nigga is huge. So she kinda stopped. But the owner don't peek that the dog didn't fall out the window. Oh. She was still driving off. So I'm like, miss, you fucking dog. So I grabbed the little teeny dog because I'm trying to hold Rocky back and hold her. Yeah. And lady, the lady got the car. The lady and her husband got the car. He gets out the car. I'm holding the dog. It's a parking lot. All the cars driving by. He gets a dog. He gets, he gets the, at the car and grabs his dog and walk back in the in car. He say thank you. Really? He say that. I'm like, what? like Mind you, I was ran her over because she was driving off when I was yelling at her name. Like, ma'am, ma'am, your dog. Like, yeah. people are rude as fuck, yo. People are rude. What? People are rude. No, there was a black couple. Really? Yes. Oh, no. A black couple. Rude as fuck. Like, I didn't have to can't stand dog. these niggas. For real. <laughs> For real. Like, <laughs> and I was trying to hold my big ass dog, but hold you dog. You could have said thank you. Like, that shit. Yeah. People are fucking That's rude. That's the least he could have did. The least. At this point. You should be like, I'm calling, um, what is it called? ASPCA? SPCA? Yeah, like, yeah, nigga, fuck? you don't even need to take care of your dog. Like, yeah, and she about to run her over. Like, yeah. But dogs be crazy as shit. I feel like everybody's so horny these days. Pets, kids, dogs, everything. Yes. Like, no, I don't want to do that. It's if you do that, they, they get sad. I, yeah, I, I'm going to get him when he turned two. I'm going to let him go, you know, hit some girls and make some babies. You got to take him to a kennel so that way he can have all the street dogs. Well, I, all the hoes. All the hoes. <laughs> They be outside for real. What you really gonna like? You really gonna take them somewhere? Like, yeah. do they have that? They got like little doggy hotels. Well, the neighborhood is my neighborhood is filled up filled up with dogs. So yeah. everybody love you know Rocky little cute little dog. Everybody love him. So people yeah. like when you ready to like breed him, like let me know. So yeah, uh, I think I'm just gonna go around and fuck everybody in the neighborhood. Damn, you just gonna fuck everybody? Yeah, babies all over. Yeah, Nick Cannon is this world. What if what if what if that was the thing for like humans, where we only get like one week to fuck out of the year or something? Oh like my that. god. What we do for the rest of the, our lives? Our lives be boring. For the rest of the year? You can do a, a, once, a, once, once a year. Once a year for a week, you could, you could have sex for that's, that whole week. I, that's you, horrible. Do you think you could live? I, I think I think if you're not used to having sex, okay, fine, right? But I think if I had to, like, we had to stop right now, I'm like, all right, y'all, one yeah. week a year. I would be depressed. I think most people would be depressed. People would probably kill themselves. 
Yeesh. Without sex? Yeah. You don't think so? Like, the, what are you doing? <clears throat> sex is sex means a lot. It's I haven't a big had sex percentage. for a long time, but I know I have the option to have sex. Yeah, you but, know it's there. Yeah, but I feel like if you don't have the option, that's like people say, like, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I would probably be depressed like, without sex. Like, no. Wow. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Because I feel like what makes me happy is sucking dick. So I can't imagine, <laughs> like, not being able to do that. What would I do with my time? What would I do with my words when I don't have no words? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do? I just feel like it's very important for you to have that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. And my friends I'm with, they love, they enjoy sucking dick too. We was out last night. We were talking about that. Y'all was talking about sucking dick? Oh my God, yes. As a group. As a group. We were talking about like how like important it is in life. And some women don't enjoy it. I don't know how women don't enjoy that. I don't know how either. Yeah. So, yeah. We, we was giving each other tips and stuff. Because sometimes you got to talk to your friends and see like, What's the new way to suck dick? There's always new ways to suck dick. You can't just keep sucking dick the same old way. Yeah. You like the same old ducks, dick suck? I would not like the same old that's dick suck, no. That's fucking ridiculous. People say they've been married for 20 years. That's how they That's how that's, they keep it. Wow. That's how they keep it. Like, that's how they spice up the bedroom. They just do guess, different, do different, different suck things. techniques, yeah. Yo, this older man try to talk to me the other day. Our mm-hmm. kids, like, play for the same team, like, basketball team and stuff. Mm-hmm. The way older men t- kind of oh. try to talk to you. It's crazy, huh? He gotta say something else. We say. Oh, the ball from the uh, the drone. Watch out! Oh no! <laughs> uh, yes, no. Oh. No, he's a, <clears throat> that is not. That's uh, your boo. Mm mm. He's, oh, he's too old. Right. No, so this guy tried to talk <laughs> to me every day, but the way he went about it was weird. He was like. He asked me something or whatever, because, you know, I said, I call parents. At the games, you'll see me with my son's dad. So he said something to me. He said, why didn't you with that little skirt? And I said, what? first of all, that's my ex-husband. Yeah. Second of all, don't look at my don't look at me. He yeah. was like, I mean, it's just so short. And I said, okay. So the next day, we had a game. He said to me, yeah, because, you know, I'm divorced. I said, oh, congratulations. Why you tell me that? Like, what the Come fuck on. up? He said, because she made me sleep in the basement. And I told her, look, I'm going to leave. I'm like, this is too much. Yeah. This is too much. Yes. And I hate an overshare ass nigga. Like, don't tell me that. Like, sometimes it's okay to just keep your shit to yourself. Right. I hate when guys start telling me way too much and they think that it's going to do me a benefit. Like, I don't think that I need to know that about your relationship. Like, do, you, do you think some people like overshare because they think that it makes them seem interesting? I think so. Like, I'm never going to, like, guys will tell me, like, my last bitch, she would never suck my dick. But you didn't make me want to suck your dick. It's let me know that you a nut, and I don't got to suck your dick either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it either. Yeah. She had to. Right, she had to do it. I'm not Look. gonna do it. Like right, no, man. no. Like don't tell me that. <laughs> don't. Tell. My girl never suck my dick. You like well, guess who don't. Gotta well, suck yes. Ooh, that's me, what you, you just told me. Know. You just told me that you went that long without a dick suck. So guess what I'm gonna do? Yes. Yeah, that's crazy. That's my question next. Like, how long was together? Two years. Okay, you a nut. Cool. Yeah. 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 I hate them. Shut up. Like no. <laughs> <laughs> I also do this thing where men, right? This one guy I was talking to, and he, he was like trying to tell me he was a freak nigga. He kept saying, "Yo, I want to be a porno star. Like, I was gonna go, I was gonna try for pornos. Like, what anything, is that? Anything, right?" So I anything. said to him, "I said, oh for real? I said, you got videos? Send me some videos. Yeah, because I'm always gonna hype you up. Yeah. He said, oh, okay. He sent me the videos. Weak. The, they wasn't shitty videos, but I decided this is why I'm not giving you no pussy." Cause the cause the girls he was fucking in the videos. I said, oh no no no, this is not gonna work. I mean these these was like the I love my women. All of them are beautiful, but they just was different type of like <laughs> girls. I was like, we ain't the same. Yeah, they so wasn't I'm the like ones, this pussy because huh? I see I see a level of what you're doing here. Like yeah. no like and, and but I mean, so what is this? it's okay to be like we on different levels. Like it's okay. Yeah, yeah. That was like bad. when you when you wanted like if you. Just so happened to see somebody's ex. Mm, it means a lot. And you realize that y'all not equal. The same. Yeah, yes. Like you like. Yes. Who the fuck you? That's been very with? important. Before I really like a guy, I want to see who you used to mess with. Yeah. If, if all your bitches was busted and you got me, no. My yeah, I want to. I'm not going to. You pulling me down. You are taking me down. Like no, I don't want yeah. that. You are lowering my uh, level of. 
I don't know what to say. What's the word? Your rank. My ranking. You are lower yeah. my ranking. Yeah. I can't have that happen. Because if your last bitch was a six, and I think I'm a 12, how'd that work out? I can't believe double the fun. You got to be double the fun. That's horrible. Yeah. You ever think about, like, you the ugliest person somebody dated? Oh, never. Would that be crazy? That would be crazy. If I was the ugliest person somebody dated? I feel like, hell no. no. Hell no. That means he dated all bad bitches. That's wild. <laughs> I would be mad as fuck if that if I saw everybody was there. Like Listen, I've had a girl tell me um that I that she was the baddest bitch that I ever I had. I remember. Have you ever have you ever felt that way about a guy? Like you was the baddest that he ever fucked with? I don't think is it possible to be like the baddest. You ever fuck with somebody? It's impossible because I feel like everybody different in their own ways. So I might be the prettiest or the tallest or the funniest or some right. shit like that, right? Right, right, right. And it might Definitely be... Definitely the funniest and the prettiest. Tallest. Y- y'all just call me ugly. No, that I said... That'd be the funniest. That'd be the funniest. And the prettiest that, fuck that he y'all. ever fuck with. Not the tallest. And the prettiest. I feel like y'all be hating on me. Y'all but not the tallest, though. I'm sure it wasn't... Right, Maybe he dated a lot of girls in my family. Who knows? Because right. I'm the tallest right. girl in my what, y'all? Family. family. You are, Thank you. you. Are. Just that family. <laughs> right. Final. Sorry. But no, it, I can't imagine that. Please don't set them up. They're going to be somebody twerking in the door somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> they were stressing you I'm out like Play that mystical song. <laughs> They're going to appear out of thin air <laughs> just ready. He said, I don't know that song. <laughs> come get her, please. <laughs> <laughs> you always like call you like, come here. you like, what's wrong? Just come here. you like, what, is something wrong? Yeah, yeah, come here. Yeah. What am I walking into? Like, yeah. Him, him. Oh, that's what he was doing during the yes, uh, during yes, the brunch. Yeah, come here, man. come here. I don't know what to do. But but that's why I don't like hanging with people who kill my vibe. You hang with somebody who just vibe just off, and you like, I keep asking you what's wrong. You keep seeing nothing. Yeah. Well, go home. Right. Why are you here? Right. Like I was out the other day, and I ran into some friends that was out, and it was like, oh, we and we all outside. Like I was with like three of my friends. I ran to my other two girlfriends, and so we like we outside now. Yeah, we all having a good time. Good time. And then I had my one friend. Who would just sit over there just looking with the mad face on? And I'm like, did something happen? Something wrong? wrong? And they like, nothing. You wanna go home? No. I hate that. I offer you to, I offer you an out. You offering Take them to go home out. is kind of crazy. I'll call though. you an Uber. I said, I'll call you an Uber. They said, no, I'm good. Yeah. No, you're not. Get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> you're killing you the fucking vibe. Yeah. You scaring the niggas. You scaring the niggas. <laughs> they are scaring. You ever have, like, you ever see a group of girls and one girl just look mad as shit? She scared me. And you, you don't want to come over there now. I'm scared. It's You draw me. I hear you know, attract some attention. You over here looking like you about to beat somebody the fuck up. They come over here. Like, yeah. I don't like people killing my vibe. I want everybody to be involved in the vibe and we having some fun and we having a good time. But yeah, that one night we was out, my one friend. That bitch like she was pissed off mad the whole night. What do you do in that situation? Like, let's say, I don't know, like a, a wave of emotion may hit you. What's your what's your go to? Like, what is what is your thing? You go in the bathroom, you sh- you know, shake it off. If I'm having a bad dip? day, like yeah, like if you having a bad day, or if like you know how sometimes you'll be out with your friends and then some shit just happen where you just might have a thought or a really sad thought that'll like fuck up your whole shit. But how bored are you that you're letting this thought get in your head when you outside? <laughs> Like what the fuck are you doing? What Yo, the fuck you, are you doing? You, you just never, you never had like, thought. you never just been like, I actually want to go home now. No, no. I mean, like, if I'm just bored, <laughs> if I'm bored and y'all ain't doing shit, yeah, but right, I'm out, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all later, like. But I'm never gonna be sitting there with my friends having a good time. I yeah. think about how fucking Tommy cheated on me and broke my heart. Now I'm all like, hmm. no, yeah, yeah. that's fucking weird. Like, tighten the fuck up, like. <laughs> Tighten the fuck up. Like, I don't like that shit. <clears throat> yeah. I really don't. I don't. I hate the people who let. This is why being in relationships is the people's horrible. champ. That's crazy. I'm just saying. Being yeah. in relationships is horrible because I've seen girls who will get a phone call from their boyfriends and they date and then they sad and depressed. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is why dating is. I don't like. Like, I'll. Yo, somebody can fuck your phone out in the Yes. Like, girl, like, it'd be like, that. Your phone is done, by the way. It just happened. Storage is full. I cleared out five gigs. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this would be this would be cool. Okay. Okay. Where we at? Forty six. Mm. Be a short podcast, guys. But we still in the camera. The camera's cool. The camera's. But the phone is the audio, right? Uh, well, I believe that this this should be okay. 
They heard the believer, right? We're going, we going to test it before we're we going to listen before we leave. I'll tell you that one. All right. Well, thank you for listening. So, this is the end. I am. What were we talking about? Vibe killers. Or, oh, no, being with people that kill your vibe. Like, yeah. Even even them like being in relationships that yeah yeah because I see a lot of people who be in relationships like verbal <clears throat> abusive relationships is my call up and then they fucking done right this is why right. I don't want to be in a relationship with a guy because I don't want to control my emotions I don't even control my own emotions I'm gonna have fun be with my friends and then you call and be like you dirty bitch I don't got time for this shit that's yeah. too much like no yeah. Yeah. you call your girl like you dirty bitch is crazy yeah and that's opening, what they do. that being the opening line that be the opening call? line yeah. Hell no. Yes, That's crazy. I've seen girls go through that shit. I'm hit beep. And then yeah. I'm going right back to the turn up. Yeah, and people, and people no. get sad with that. I'm like, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather just be a fuck alone. And yeah. And have some niggas I can just text and call up to do some stuff with. Like, I hate when people come around and they always got like like a, a sad story about their relationship. Like, yes. he did this again. You like, dog, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to like, hear that shit. I gave my advice. You didn't take it. Suck another dick. Period. Like, stop. Like, Yeah. And then people always say it's nothing like getting over it, like old dick better than getting some new dick or some shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you get like a weak dick. I don't, then you, then you go one way to the old dick now. Yeah. You, you gotta be careful with the moves you make next. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can't just go and jump into something. Because it might push you back to the wrong nigga. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, do guys do that too? Like, you like, I, I wanna leave her alone. So I'm gonna meet somebody new. Yeah. And then try to go back. Like, it'd be stupid. Yeah, but like, fuck it. Yo, gear. No. Niggas ain't shit. Big bang period. Niggas ain't shit. It's okay. I'll be like, I'll be waking up like, damn, this is a story to tell, I guess. Yeah. If listen. it's if it's terrible, I'll be like, it's this, still something. I guess. It's better than nothing. Yeah, but sometimes I, I'm starting to realize that nothing is better. No. Sometimes. <laughs> Yo, Lionel, I went on a date the other day, uh, maybe last week or some shit. You know, I say I hate to, drinking tequila. Yeah. I like tequila is the death of me. So I went on a date and I was so drunk. I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> Isn't that wild? It was Eesh. so wild. That I, I didn't know I said it. And then yeah. he said it to me. And I, when he said it, I remember it. Like, but he was like, after you said it, he was like, oh, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. Let me know mind. Yeah, you did. I was drunk as shit. You cleaned yourself up with that yes, one. Yes, but it was like, what I'm drunk fuck? is not a good cleanup. That's it's terrible. It's not a good cleanup. No. Because he think I really love him. He probably really thinks that. I was in love with the moment. <laughs> 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 I always mistake love for lust though. Like we have yeah. good sexual chemistry or they I love you. I'm like, oh I love this nigga. Yeah. But it's just good sexual chemistry. I don't really love you. I just love the fact that we have good sexual chemistry. I know. I think lust cause it's four letters and love is four letters, you mistake that a lot. It's a little it's a little fuck up somewhere in there. Yeah. And why why is still L? Why lust can't be something like rust? Probably not rust. Why can't be something like cussed? Right. Why I mean lust? Cussed. Bust. Cause love is lust is bust, so it should be bust. It should be bust. Yeah, cause lust is bust. You gonna bust, bust or love? And that's different. Not love and lust. Love and like so love and bust. Love and bust. That's like a damn. Love and bust. Yeah, that's like a damn a reality show. Love and bust. I got but it. I don't want to. I don't. I I gotta do better with like controlling my feelings because I feel like a lot of times you tell someone somebody you love them a muffin. Mm-hmm. It's not really love. It's just lust. You just like having sex. Yeah, a reality show before that would yes. be a name for it. Love and love or bust or love and love and bust or love something like that. Yeah, like be a lit. reality show. Love and bust. We should do love that. Love and bust. Who would it be about? It was love and bust. It's gonna be about you. But love and bust. Like, who? Is it love or is it a bust? Like that's oh, it's one or two. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you pick. I want Ray J to host it. I'll be from Diamond Street. And all North Philly niggas being on the show is actually we're Zeus. (laughs) We have an idea. We're going to Zeus. A North Philly girl in the North Philly world. No, that would be the that would be so good. It'd be better if it was it was me up Cuss Town and like Amish Town. That'd be a (laughs) better one. That'd be a better one. Don't fuck with the Lancaster niggas. Yes, that'd be a better one. A North Philly girl messing with that. A North Philly girl fucking with an Amish guy. The Amish niggas and going on dates on the bug on you the buggies. You can't even get in there. I, I wear a long dress. Oh, oh, yeah, that, I wear long tell dress. You. you black. <laughs> Number one. You can't be Amish if you black. Fuck no. I'm. I'm wearing. Amish when you seen now. a black Amish nigga tomorrow? Me, me, me. I'm wearing a fucking <laughs> it's Amish. It's gonna be show. you. You gonna tell me I can't do it? Yeah. 
like, ain't gonna be like, this is got it. I'm like, no, I ain't gonna say that. That'll be very. I just want to like see you. I just want to see you go like three days without any electric or anything like that. I would fucking they cry. They shower. They don't shower that often. You mean like maybe once a week? I like to smell good. I quit. I wrong, quit. Wrong. No, wrong, wrong show. We pick another, pick the, another the religion. The guys. We do the, the North Philly guys. That'd be crazy, right? Yeah. I, I fuck guys, with the North Philly thing. Where they got accents. Where the niggas got accents. Like Idris Elba accents. Oh, like London and shit. I don't think I like Idris Elba. Why? Why? I just say, I just. Why? I saw him in a movie before and I didn't like uh, it. This nigga a fan of your podcast. He listening right now. Like, damn. I, lo- I love Idris Elba. <laughs> no, you don't. You hate that no, nigga. No, I'm saying, I don't like that. I saw him in a, no, I like Idris Elba. I saw him in a, in a movie before, and it kind of always got me. So it always threw me off. I'm like, what, mm. what is your, like, international, like, uh, thing that you, like, lust over a little bit? Like, do you lust over any, or, like, any international thing, like, and what is it? Like, is it Russian niggas? Is it Nigerian Irish? Nigerian men. Okay. I, I told you, I really, I'm really into Nigerian movies right now. I watch them all the time. Yeah. That should be sexy. Like, they be like, and they got that accent and shit. Yeah. Like, and they be like, talking, and they always sound they mad. That shit is cute. I like toxic, like, men. I like men who, like, rough and be saying, like, wild shit. Wild in Nigerian. Yes, in a Nigerian accent. Yeah. You they like be, that. Yeah, I think they be like, and they be talking, like, fast like me. Oh, this is this is like a a love made in heaven. A love made in heaven for yeah. sure. Not a match made in heaven, Mm-mm, but a love, a love made in heaven for love sure. Love or lust? You like that lust toxic shit from from them niggas? Yeah, from just niggas in general. I mean, because I always feel like if he from Lagos, there's a good chance he could be like a prince. Ah, uh, right? Could be. Could be. I'm excited. Got to take one of them back home. They, you know, they're gonna want to come to America. If he got money, he can come. No, they okay. Is the money transfer over differently or the same? No, the conversion rate got to no. be higher. Okay. <laughs> Should be not the case. Yeah, I don't know. So you stay at home. When I was in Jamaica, the guys, was they was going crazy. Like, they was, like, trying to do anything. They was offering they you your ass, eat your pussy. Mar- doing, yeah. They was doing anything to you. Like, they, they was like, what's up? Yeah. They said, do, 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 what they they do or they what? do. No, they rub the mud on the, on the chicks. The like fat. He said no, like when they be in the water and shit, and he rub the mud on their legs. The fat. That is. You, like he he wanted to be that so bad. I wanted it to be so bad. The boat, like they be on the, they be in the, in the. What's oh, we did that. We oh, did that. like the little yeah. massages where yeah. the niggas be on like the little bamboo uh, boats. Mm-hmm. They like be some strong looking nice men. You wouldn't do it. Give them some coochie, probably not. Nah, nah, yeah. I'm I'm kind of selfish with my coochie. I don't like to give it out to everybody. Like right. sometimes you gotta be kind of like reserved with your pussy. You don't want to like. I'm reserved with my meat. No, you're not. But you know, like men That's don't crazy. know how to like keep their dicks themselves, so we had to do it. You know, keep our pussy to ourselves. I don't think that I'm yeah. going to be like. I do it for niggas. Yeah, it's like birth control. We give you our birth control. It's because we're immature. Very, very. Well, I yeah. Right. I heard about that thing where they where they uh stop niggas from having babies. Snipping. I heard that's like a quick little. Sn- yeah, a lot of guys out, getting yeah. it these days. Yeah, a lot of guys is getting like snipped and don't tell their girlfriends they got yeah, snipped. Yeah, I need to get my tubes tied. Yeah, sue if you get pregnant, right? Oh no, you can sue if you get somebody pregnant. Mm, they, 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 nah, you I'm sign off sure on that shit because nothing's one hundred percent. Everything's ninety nine point nine, and you probably one percent. Yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been to point one percent before. Like, so that shit crazy. I don't know. It's time for you to give us another, you know, pod baby. So the, definitely not <laughs> a pod uh, baby. For sure crazy. not. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ah, uh-uh, I might be done done in a few years. Who's it? Who is it gonna be? What? Who's gonna give the power? Oh, the baby? first baby gonna be for sure Lur. Lur. Yeah. For sure. That's what I'm saying. Lur gonna have the first if it's two years from now or four years from now, he's gonna be the first person with a baby. It's gonna be him. Yeah. It'll be him. You don't think so? <laughs> this is what he do. This is what he does. This is what he does. You think this that they wanna hear this? This is it. Yeah. This is up to you. Ask I just don't and the listeners love this. I cannot wait until they he fucking posts the YouTube videos one day. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. yeah, way. get on his ass. So yeah, way. on his so ass. Look, way. he said, "Look at this. Here's a picture of me." Yes, the phone is covering <laughs> my face. Be <laughs> <laughs> like this. What's the point of this picture? We just <laughs> <laughs> where we need this conversation at. Oh my god, y'all love Lars so much, but the nigga is crazy. Nigga like is very crazy. We can't say yet. Coming soon. We got an announcement for you guys. Um, let's do some tweets real quick. What should we doing? 
You on your phone doing looking at you are, you. I tweet all day. <laughs> he always say that. I be on Twitter all I day. I see one joint where I was like, oh, I know this is gonna come up. For yeah, sure. all day. Yeah. Dang. I do so. Let's see what we got. I know here. I'm a big one there. I be talking shit. I be working. I be editing and shit. You know how I be doing. <laughs> uh cheap niggas make you pick, rich niggas get you both. What is yeah. that? Is that a lyric? Yes, that's Lotto. Is that? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Is that me? But she said, she said the truth, though. You be out with a guy, he be like, you want to get appetizers or you want to get an entree? I want both. Oh. What are we talking that is about? True. Yeah. You trying to go to happy hour. What you I need an appetizer for? Let's just get into it. Let's get straight to dinner. Let's just get right to dinner. We came here for dinner. Did we come here for Thank dinner you, so and appetizer? Prove my point. All right, next tweet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all um, stupid. <laughs> before, and you spelt it B with the, the actual number four. Before <laughs> having sex with a man, I asked him to send me a video. Oh, of him fucking someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Does that, has that. that ever worked for you? All the time. Guys love to show them fucking somebody. Really? All the time. I mean, good thing I'm not the type of girl who's going to repost a like, video because I could have had, you know, put them on last. I would never do that. But, like, they love showing that themselves fucking somebody. Yeah. Insane. Giving out weak dick. I be cracking up sometimes. Like, that's what you're doing? I would love to say it's me. What does that mean? I be I be wanting to say, I hold myself accountable for not having, like, longevity in relationships these days. But uh, it's not me. It be niggas. Niggas be fucking up. Oh, you saying, like, you would love to say it's me. I would me, love to say it's but... me. But it's not. It's y'all. It's men. Come and rescue me. Take me off the market. What are you doing here? That's Drake. I'm trying to hit the group chat that's Drake. and tell him it's a rap. Yeah, that's Drake. Do you really want that though, Ish? I would love to have me a guy. I want. I want to. I think I want love she again. Me. I, yeah. No. I think come you meet, come meet to come get Ish, please. No, I need somebody with some kind of heavy. He's fat. Meek's, he's some fat. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, and then he from South Philly. You from South Philly too, like my bad, <laughs> my bad. Just <laughs> I'm South Philly, Philly too. Like, my bad, love. Like. Yeah. We know about them niggas. Yeah, they do it well. Cool. <laughs> All right, this is the last one because I, I like this one. This is a very nice one. Um, having people who love you on the way up is very important, and I think that's an amazing quote. I like that. That was about Lur and Lionel. Oh, like, I feel like a lot of times you have people who Ever appreciate boys. you and yeah. like love you and support you. You know, like you guys was. I was like, whore you guys out with the brunch. You was the DJ. Yeah. You was cleaning stuff, fixing stuff. Absolutely. You was doing everything, you know. Yeah. Love was out there. He was hosting. Yeah. Giving out liquor that he was supposed to give out. <laughs> he was he was he was that. He was a curator. He was making we were always up there moving shit before the, everything started. Yep. He yeah. made sure I was cool. He was like, troubleshooting issues. You see what I'm yeah. saying? I feel like yeah. having friends who love you because you gotta think a lot of times you don't got people who come out and do shit for free. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like with that time, that's, it was a whole day. We, I kind of took up with y'all, so it's like I love my friends. I how love about it? How, out, you know? how about yeah. that? And we had fun. No, it was a good time. After all that, we had fun. Time. And then, not not to mention, you guys gave me the confidence to like go forward with other things. Before I just was like I wasn't sure. I'm like people come outside. Yeah. And see once me? you throw your first event, then it Boy, leads to the next out. one. Yeah. And they came yeah, outside they beautiful too and pretty. They and need to come to the next show. one. Right. The next right. One. Very the soon. Next one. Very soon. Yep. So yeah. Tour, you feel me? If I go on tour, y'all going y'all come to every city. Yeah. I'm gonna be like I got no. I gotta go deal with, I gotta go deal with something. No. I'm gonna just go to Aisha's mm. What? I was gonna go to the States just to have a good time. That's all. You come to work. Yeah, no, I mean like Oh. Yeah. oh okay. We gotta work. Oh all right. Listen. Stop playing, I know. All right. Are we done? Yeah. Cause I'm ready to go because y'all playing. Yes. Well, Soli, thank you for tuning in this week. Um, heart of the week. What's like a good heart of the week? Make sure you guys are not mistaken lust for love. Mm. And don't tell guys that you love them on the first date. It's dumb shit that I do. I'm fucking alcoholic. I, I love y'all. See you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe, review, and like the podcast. Make sure you guys mm. are. Um, you, you guys been Sounds one million comment. for a clip. Me and Stormy had a clip. It yeah, hit a million views. Crazy, look at that. right? What's your face on it? It's called, yes. Yeah, every, every clip, every time you go on somebody's podcast, right? Mm-hmm. Regardless who this is. Mm-hmm. So I've been looking at I went on a, a, a spree today and I seen 
I will go to their page, mm-hmm. go down clips, and then I see the ones with you in it and bow. You know what I'm saying? So we turn it up, you right? Do anything, you do yeah, it. we turn Absolutely. it up. Good content is everything, Absolutely. and my content is strictly because I have great producers. So you are a hot I love commodity. you guys. Yes, I see you guys next time. Make sure you uh, send us some messages. Love you. Bye. Bye.